that clients are super excited about because we get to see kind of what we like to call like the master concept first pass of they've taken all this information from like the client profile from all, all sorts of different input that they've asked from us and they've put it together but one of the neatest tools that I think that puts Andrea and Meredith and sets them apart is they have this really cool tool called Canvas. And so they came over to the house and they scan, I'm going to call it scan the house. What do you call it? Yeah, yeah. it's a, so what it is is a 3D scanner. So it's Okay, so for our people that are listening on podcast real quickly, it's Canvas, C-A-N-V-A-S. And it's what you say? It's a 3D scanner. A 3D scanner, okay. That you, it's just this camera that attaches to an iPad. And so for years, when we started a renovation project, we would have to go in and hand measure the house. I mean, I, I remember watching you do that. Like everything had to be measured by hand. And you really, right. there was no room for error. Right? No. Like it had to be perfect. And it took hours. 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 We would hours. half a day spend at a house measuring everything every room overall size down to the placements of each window size of trims all that had to be documented so that we could draw it into our floor plan and make a set of blueprints so this is fairly new technology that we've invested in that saves us a lot of time and our clients a lot of money because we can in an hour scan an entire house that would have normally taken half a day to measure and we have all of the information so um, what so literally what she did was is she took the ipad and scanned every single aspect of the of every room right and it was the coolest thing you could watch this and we'll share some more videos of this later on but it was the neatest thing because you could actually see like what you were scanning Right, and so the the great thing about this is that it allows us to keep all of that information. Um, so all of our projects are saved here, and I can go back into your house as we're working through and say, okay, now, how is that laid out? And we can go back in and... Oh, that's our front door. Right. Yeah. And and basically re-walk through the house and re-reference mm -hmm. the architecture. So this is, is huge for a lot of people because this saves, like what I think what's so important for people to know is time, which equals money. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the amount of hours that you would have to spend for somebody to do this. And what was all what's also cool about this is that we have the original blueprint right which is great which is so cool they actually had an architect out of atlanta that designed our home and what's neat is like they can match up this to the actual and this is an as-built plan right but even in a new construction house that great, that's right. been built let's say five years ago mm -hmm. and we're going in and they say i have my plans we would still remeasure because you, there's always site changes in construction and the chances of that house being built exactly right. the way those plans are. Because you're right, that's not as built. This Because they make changes to our original right. plan. I yeah. mean, you know, for whatever reasons, maybe somebody changed their mind or maybe they get in there and something doesn't work quite right. And so there's little slight changes but that can affect what we're trying to do right so having this is a wonderful reference but we still always go back and collect the information from the physical house okay. to compare um, so what we do is take these 3d scans and canvas merges all of them together mm -hmm. and sends it back to us in SketchUp is um, okay, like, and tell everybody what SketchUp is. So for our people that are on our podcast, SketchUp is literally S-K-E-T-C-H dash up. Right. So SketchUp. Right. And so you hear architects and, you know, on TV shows about home renovations, people talking about AutoCAD a mm -hmm. lot. And so that gets used kind of as a blanket term. AutoCAD is an actual brand name program that is a lot more technical than this. 
um, which we learned in design school, but that's really geared more for like huge architecture firms and things like that. So this is all. So y'all, this is our house. Right. Gunner, can you see that? This is the floor plan. And so what SketchUp does is uh, allows us. So that's the original plan. Right? Yes. Right. right. That's the original floor plan. Ooh, Tommy. So <laughs> we, it, this gives us a reference of what is there now mm -hmm. and allows us to take it and manipulate this floor plan into what we want it to become. So that's like a 3D model, which I think is, I mean, Tommy, don't you think it's so neat that we can actually see that? Oh, yeah. And it's accurate. I mean, it's within 1% to 2%. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm in a video game. <laughs> it's really a probably more precise most of the time than hand measuring because with a hand measure, if you're pulling a tape across a room that's 20 feet long, if the tape isn't perfectly tight, you can be off an inch and a half, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, which is a big deal. Right. right. So, this but, gets the windows, this gets the cabinets. This get, it gets everything. It looks like I can see electrical yeah. outlets on there. Yes, which is huge for us. It it gives wow. us light switching. Well, that's just the HVAC. Oh my so, goodness! And that is all information. When we were measuring by hand, we would go through and take videos and pictures of everything so that we could go back and look at that. But it's important to know where all that stuff mm -hmm. is when you're reworking the plan because every time we move an HVAC vent, every time we move a light switch, that's money. You're right. So right. we need to know how <laughs> all of those changes are affecting the overall budget and that allows us to evaluate, okay, if we move this wall, um, the HVAC return has to be relocated. Where are we going to put that now? How far does it have to go that, you know, if we're moving the kitchen around every time plumbing has to be moved from the existing location to the new one that's money okay. so all of that information helps us to determine the best way to rework the plan to meet your functional needs and keep it within your budget so that okay, we're not is that okay <laughs> we're not drinking bourbon yet <laughs> <laughs> The options are endless and, and so many times people come to us and say, what can we do? Well, you can do anything. Mm -hmm. It's just time and money. <laughs> right. Well, so we have to make our design decisions based on what's practical right. for your for budget and timeline. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're going to go through like the budget and what you need and that sort of thing. But right. first, we have to know what we're working with. So, Ooh. this is the new plan. <laughs> Tommy's like looking and he's like, what? <laughs> <It's exciting. laughs> Are you nervous? No, not at all. <laughs> so, that helps us with all of the phase planning. And then, from a budget perspective, we can get pretty detailed. Zoom into the scullery. So we can get pretty detailed as far as what your countertops are gonna look like, the color of the cabinets, the layout, what kind of doors will be on there, how many open shelves. We can make all those changes so that when we start to move forward with this house, our cabinet maker mm -hmm. will know when he's pricing the kitchen, he's not just pricing 10 feet of cabinets, he knows that there's a tower cabinet that has pocket doors. That's extra money. We are saying that we want marble countertops instead of granite. So we are accounting for that money. Um, and a dumb waiter. And a dumb waiter. <laughs> so it's the level of detail that we can think through, put in, show you guys, get your feedback on and tweak helps all of those budget questions and then we may get all that priced out and say whoa we got to step back a little bit what can we change to save some money and for us to visualize from a design perspective how does all this look together right <gasps> Tommy look isn't this exciting this is really exciting I want to sit here with Meredith for a little bit <laughs> <laughs> me a little too so long. then in a minute we'll get in deeper detail okay. about the flow and layout and, and how it works. Okay, great. So Canvas is definitely a fabulous tool. It's been 
groundbreaking for us. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then SketchUp is a huge tool. So these are resources that in the long run, they may take a little bit of investment on, you know, on the front end right. for you but in the time, but long term, it's going to save so much more money so we can see this. Okay. Absolutely. Well, next video, we're going to be showing you all the fun details.